Yeah, thank you very much for the nice introduction and welcome to this next talk. As said, on the user diversity and the motivation for verbal fitness tracking um, and its implications. So, a common notion in the literature is that um, activity trackers hold a great potential to support physical health. However, there's a problem, uh, or a challenge at least, that real regular use is uh, considered to be necessary for real successful behavioral change and habit formation. Unfortunately, many tracker users reduce usage or even abandon their trackers over time. So part of uh, this problem and an interesting question could be or is, why do some people use their activity trackers more regularly, intensively than others? So this might get us a further step uh, regarding the question, why is there a tracker abandonment? Um, and as a first step, of course, like often, you need a good theory. And a good theory, a good starting point, could be here self-determination theory, because it's a very fundamental theory of user motivation. And it basically says, so one basic tenet is that there are two kinds of motivation. On the one hand side, intrinsic motivation, so you do something because it's intrinsically enjoyable. You do it for its own sake. And on the other hand side, uh, extrinsic motivation, so you do something because you have a superior goal. Either you have set this goal yourself, this would be autonomous regulation, or someone else has set this goal to you and you would feel guilty if you would not meet the goal. So think of goals that your partner or your mom or dad um, introject. Uh, and external regulation, you just do something to avoid punishment or get a reward. Uh, and there are some fundamental findings that connect this motivation to behavioral outcomes, for example, showing that both intrinsic and extrinsic motivation are positively connected to performance measures, so like doing more, uh, behaving more intensive. Um, and additionally, more autonomous forms of motivation, so intrinsic or autonomous extrinsic motivation, are more strongly connected to outcomes like persistence and long-term adherence. And there's also first research indicating that there might be similar patterns in the field of activity tracking, showing that motivation is related to the intensity of tracking, that intrinsic motivation is at least linked to desired uh, usage intensity, and that extrinsic motivation can have negative outcomes, for example, something like we call a dependency effect, so that people will stop to be active when they do not get the reward from their tracker. And there's another perspective. And that's something that we often miss to consider when we do human interaction, uh, human technology interaction research, and this is personality can play a role. So not every activity tracker user, not every um, technology user is the same. Personality is a quite important construct where people differ and it can have important consequences for motivation or user behavior. Uh, and we selected three uh, key um, personality constructs that are relevant for technology interaction. First of all, affinity for technology interaction, we heard it already today in another talk, which is defined as the tendency to more or less actively engage in intensive technology interaction. So you could say a behaviorally oriented attitude, positive attitude towards technology. So and this is a little commercial break because uh, that's actually a construct and scale that we have developed recently um, and published in the International Journal of Human Computer Interaction. And it's a quite economical scale with nine items, quite good uh, validity and reliability over multiple studies. And it's available in German and English version. Um, yeah, and you can have the paper if you, uh, paper if you like. Uh, and you can download a uh, scale at this website, ati-scale.org. Okay, stop off the commercial break. Uh, next uh, personality construct was uh, Gikism, which is computer enthusiasm and intrinsic uh, interest to explore technical devices deeply. And finally, we were also interested to assess need for cognition as intrinsic motivation to engage in cognitively demanding tasks. And all these three um, personality constructs should be related to a higher intrinsic motivation of tracking, so of using activity trackers, because people should be more interested in the tracking itself. So it should be more fun to deal with data and so on. But let's see what the results tell us. 
Um, so we had three research questions. First of all, are there individual differences in the motivation for using activity trackers? And how big are they? Second, to what extent are these uh, differences in motivation related to differences in usage intensity? And here we uh, expected that both intrinsic and extrinsic motivation should be positively related to usage intensity. However, there should be a more strong relationship uh, for more autonomous facets of extrinsic motivation. And finally, uh, to what extent can these discussed personality traits explain variance in tracking motivation and all three should be connected to intrinsic motivation for tracker usage? Uh, to address these questions, we did an online questionnaire with actual activity tracker users. So we had 58 users. We were quite uh, variable in terms of how long they had used their current activity tracker. So many between four and 12 months so far. Um, and so they filled in several scales and measures, and this allowed us to derive the following results. First of all, is there motivation differences? Are there motivational differences? Yes, there are. Uh, there was a substantial variance in users' motivation in our sample. So roughly half could be classified as more extrinsically motivated, so higher score in extrinsic than intrinsic, and roughly a third could be classified as more intrinsically motivated and the rest couldn't be clearly classified. Second research question. Can these differences in motivation explain variance in usage intensity? Yes, indeed, as expected, uh, both intrinsic and extrinsic motivation were related to um, usage intensity. However, more autonomous forms, so autonomous regulation, was strongly connected, but external regulation was not. And more or less a uh, similar pattern arised when we looked at the future intended or predicted usage intensity. So we asked users not just how is your usage intensity now, but what would you uh, think of how will your usage intensity be in the future. And final question, personality traits, is there a um, relationship? And yes, there's a relationship, at least for the two that are really technology-centered, um, so ATI and uh, Geekism, not for need for cognition, and uh, the effect is especially strong for the ATI. So what can we take from these minutes? Uh, first of all, yes, tracker users differ substantially regarding their tracker usage motivation. Second, more autonomous usage motivation is related to more intensive usage. And finally, these personality traits that we examined explain differences in motivation, uh, and particularly the ATI construct seems promising. So what do we take from these results? First of all, I would say that we can say that uh, intrinsic autonomous motivation is crucial, crucial for intensive tracker usage. So it seems to be or could be an important success factor, factor for uh, successful behavioral change. This means that when we design activity tracker feedback, we should rather target or strengthen um, users' experienced autonomy and self-determination, meaning um, we should emphasize the self-rewarding nature of physical activity and not just giving reward and uh, punishment. Uh, and last but not least, uh, I would say that, yeah, it makes sense to uh, integrate uh, personality um, and also assess personality uh, and use domain-specific personality trait scales to examine human technology interaction. Okay, and if you are still interested in this topic, there is a further paper we have recently published, which is about this dependency effect I shortly talked about. Um, so that asks the question, um, is there a possibility that using such trackers can, dec um, can yeah, lead to a dependency that might even harm motivation for physical activity? So I have the paper on a USB stick if you're interested, but for now, it's thank you for the attention. <laughs>